You know, I actually thought it would be quieter if I shot outside instead of inside where the people are, but outside I got the road way over there, sometimes making noise. I got the forest back there with a flooding creek making noise, and yeah, that, this, this, I apologize for any background noise. Hello Earthlings, it's Friday, you know I can't keep track of the date, and you are watching Adam the Alien. It's also just a little bit distracting to have an adorable dog walking around below the frame. Oh, Shadow, you're such a good puppy. Yes, yes you are. Seriously. Mwah. Look at this, look at this face. She is so hard to ignore. So a couple nights ago, I kind of came to a realization. That realization is that for the first time in way too long, I have kind of achieved a rather zen-like inner peace and tranquility. Adam, what does that mean? It means I'm happy! I mean, obviously there's still little bits of frustration and stuff, and there's still a lot to do to kind of bring my life together, but on the whole, there's kind of an underlying happiness. I've spent the last few months returning to the farm I grew up on, which, as you can see, is a place of beauty and wonder, and there's a bug on the screen. <laughs> I meant the lens. There's a, there was a bug on the lens, not the... You know what I meant, right? It's a very tranquilizing place. Tranquilizing? I don't think that's the right word, but it's a tranquil place. And so I've finally had some time to do a lot of healing. Healing that I've really needed to do and haven't had time to do in a long time. Honestly, I have some things that I'm still healing with from way back in 2009, when my home was suddenly condemned out from under me. And even further back than that, I'm actually starting to heal from some old childhood traumas. It's kind of incredible, and I'm not sure when the balancing scale tipped, but I realized it after spending an evening helping my little sister with her homework. And I have to say, that is probably the most fulfilling thing about being back on the farm. I get to be a big brother again, every day, in person, not a long-distance big brother, to a little sister back in another state. My little sister Jewel and I are 15 years apart, but we are a team. So from the very moment I got home, when she gave me the fondest of welcomes, Onicha! <laughs> it has been a huge improvement in my life. So really, 2013 right now for me is a year of positivity. I've tried to do this in the past and not succeeded, but one of the things I'm doing this year to help that happen is I made a New Year's resolution to write down, whether publicly on Tumblr or something, or privately just in kind of for my own thing, I write down every compliment I get, or at least every compliment that really impacts me, so that I can go back and look at it later. Go back? Wow, I can talk. But you get the idea. You don't need me to be coherent or something to get the idea, do you? No, of course you don't. You're smarter than that. I have faith in you. And it's not just in me that I'm noticing this. 2012, I noticed for so many people in my life, was just kind of a year of negativity and finally everything culminating into the year of suck. Maybe that was what the Mayans really meant, you know? The, the year of suck. It's not the year of death, it's the year of suck. But going right along with the fact that the Mayan end of the calendar thing was not meant to be the end of the world, but in fact meant to be the birth of a new world, a new era, this feels in myself and in people around me like a new era. Yesterday I saw a video from Voldy where he was talking about things that just make him happy, just things for him to reflect on later and see that video and go, yeah! Those are awesome things! So, here are a few things just on the top of my head that make me happy. Because this is the year of positivity! I don't know what this is. <laughs> Obviously, my little sister. And really, just family and friends in general. I am so blessed with my family and my friends, be they my school friends or the YouTubers, the classy ladies, vlog tag. It's, it's just... I am so thankful to have all of you in my life. Yes, that includes you, random person I've never met before, but you watch my videos, so you make me happy. Thank you for being part of my life. Adorable animals. Adorable animals are a good thing, like the dog that keeps running around beneath me. Hats. All the hats that I wear. Seriously, hats are awesome. This one, it's a fez. Awesome. I like it. Nutella. No, doggy. You can't have any. You're a dog. And the freedom to, as an adult, be absolutely, positively ridiculous. Why did he bring me up as the example of ridiculousness? I have no idea. I am not ridiculous at all. Nope. Oh my god, 
God, is that Justin Bieber? Ah, Bieber, I love you! There are mosquitoes everywhere. And right in line with that, things that make me happy include really, really stupid jokes. A study in Scarlet in your pants. I'll study your Scarlet. I'll study your mom's Scarlet. Oh my God, Justin Bieber. My brother just caught me playing with puppets on camera. And there he goes, driving off. Actually, that's another thing. Playing video games with my older brother has been an immensely fulfilling thing. I'm just talking now until he drives away. Okay, that was completely unnecessary, but fun! Tell me in the comments below, or in any other way you see fit, what makes you happy. And if not necessarily happy, then hopeful, fulfilled, Zen-like. Because this is 2013, damn it. This is a year of Zen-like hope, fulfillment, happiness. This is the future you are in right now. The future. My camera is jiggling! Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle! That's all I've got for you today, ladies and germs and earthlings. I'm Adam the Alien. Fare thee well. Hey, hey, and don't forget, if you've not been watching my videos recently, check them out. There are recent stuffs. Also, I mentioned my little sister a lot, so here's the video I made for her 10-year birthday a few years ago. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my other channels. You've got Adam Unedited, where I upload all kinds of crazy things, with just anything that doesn't make it into this video, concert footage, you know, anything that doesn't make it to the main channel, and I just don't want to edit, I slap it up there. I'm also working with Inside Out Shakespeare, so head on over to their channel and subscribe. And I'm going to be taking a more active role in Norman Tweeter productions. You may remember them as the puppet guys. You should really check them out. Subscribe and like and favorite this and their videos and um just yeah. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope your 2013 is looking as positive as mine. If it's not, let's work on that. Need me to kick the universe's ass? I will. Okay, bye.